last time. We we killed a lot of people. A lot of people died on our watch. Yeah, but this time will be different. Yeah, this time uh, it's a happy ending for everyone involved. No one, no one, no one will fall to the darkness on this day. The, uh, the takeaway from Kareem was we did get the Zelatoth rune, and we can now enchant our weapon appropriately to open the door in the kitchen. I also, as I was going over the, uh, for the edits, realized, like, I didn't point out specifically, but if anyone watching is not, um, familiar with, with Lovecraft and his whole, uh, mythos, the fact that we're in Rhode Island is very particular, um, oh, hold that thought, we have a, we have a phone call. Um, Rhode Island is, Rhode Island is to Lovecraft as Maine is to Stephen King. They love their New England settings, these, these horror writers do. Also, being their hometowns and all. Sure. So... Bells. We want to do an enchant. We want to do it. Minty green flavor. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do we do with that? We we put it in the we put it in the slot. And we open the door because that's. Oh, in the slot. Okay. Yeah, the slot just with to break it over our knee. Yeah, just snap the sword. We're actually gonna chop off our knee. Do oh. some durability tests on the furniture. Yeah, and a rat just kind of like scuttled out. Spice jar. Did that rat? Where'd you go, rat? 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 I want that rat to be my new pet. Also, that door was just to the fucking pantry. Yeah, that was just to the pantry. There is nothing special there, aside from some spices. The faint aroma of Arabian spices is tantalizingly emanating from it, and there's a piece of paper stuck inside. This is not a good filing system. Especially not for your... Eldritch Chapters of Unknowable Evil. Constructed. The master of chaos, the keeper of the ancients, is long dead. The planets will be in alignment soon. All is prepared for your arrival. I will begin the final incantation that will bring you into our world within days. The next millennium will truly usher in a new age. Your guardians, now prepare the gate. Well, that sounds bad. You're good with it? I don't know if I'm good with it. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. I trust you. Oh, what? You're telling me there aren't already madness gods in all reality? You know, if you had asked me when this game was made, I would have maybe had a different opinion, but you know what? Yeah. 
Maybe not. Maybe, maybe Pius won. Maybe that's twist ending. Pius wins, and our world is then ushered in. Um, the lurking horror is also uh, a a direct. That is the name of a Lovecraft story. That isn't even an homage. That's just we took the title and slapped it on a thing. I will not argue that I was shocked by the sudden mention of one of my ancestors, the distinguished Dr. Maximilian Roybas. It chilled me. I bones. figured we were up to this. Where had this ancient book come from? How had my ancestor stumbled upon it? We get to our boy. I feverishly began to read more, eager to learn his story. It seems that Maximilian had inherited his father's mansion, just as I had. Alone since the death of his wife, and since his children had their own adult lives, he explored the house to discover his family roots. So, in some ways, this is the most important chapter of the game. It has been two weeks since the death of my father. It has finally come to me to look over the mansion. Now, I am truly alone. I'm forced to start a new life here in Rhode Island. I intend to make the mansion mine, and live in it as my forefathers had, and continue the family tradition. The mansion has its secrets, I'm sure. In my time here, I have to make them mine. So, this is the mansion that Alex is exploring in the present day. But we do get an earlier... Oh, and we also, uh, if you recall, we saw Max in this hallway walking through a wall here earlier into this door. But there's not a door there in the present day. And there's something in, going on in there. And I'm pretty sure this uh, this glass window is different as well. Because over here, there's that big green field that reaches out and hurts us. So it was my understanding that these these white powdered wigs were for, like, formal occasions. You wouldn't just be wearing one around your house. More bullets. Max's entire life is a formal occasion. He is always dressed for the finest of of duties. where we came from? Yeah, it's the writing room. That's where we came from. So. Yeah, wrong button. That's the button. So the medical journal, um, Max is a, a doctor and a man of science, and he, he can, um, can he autopsy he can, things? Yeah, he can take notes on, on, uh, the creatures that we fight, um, that that is itself more than that is that is why this chapter becomes uh particularly interesting if you are trying to 100% the game because there are some 
monsters that you can only fight in certain uh, playthroughs when you're fighting certain gods and, you know, based on Pius's choice at the beginning. And there are also some monsters that are only in one or two spots within this chapter. And if you miss them, then they're gone. And the trappers, in particular, are a pain in the ass. <sighs> because everything about them has to be awful and annoying. What do we got, letter? Uh, dear friend, the antiquity of which you ask is indeed the Tome of Eternal Darkness, or a copy of it, at least. Its secrets are still hidden from me, for I have been unable to read it. I guess it's written in, like, Aramaic or something. As have most scholars who have tried. It will remain within the sanctity of the mansion, for in the wrong hands it would be a powerful weapon. Per peruse it, if you will, but beware its magic. It is a harsh mistress. Aaron Roivis, presumably Max's father, grandfather, ancestor. This whole family makes some bad decisions regarding this book. No clock here, but another letter. Hmm. The house has been forsaken by the ancients. I dare not enter it for fear of my mortal soul. I would suggest that you leave also. Bring the book. It is far more. It is a far more potent tool than you have learned. And may well swing the balance in our favor. But apparently whatever happened to Aaron, the house itself came through pretty fine. Oh, good. We're going to want this rune. This is the rune that's going to let us actually heal. So, when you play through Trilby's notes, this chapter also, more than any other, is the one that sticks out in my mind. Um, particularly when you go to the first flashback when you witness what happened to the Defoe family back in the day. Um, and you get to see a house that you've seen the modernized version of, but the you now get to see what it looked like in, in ye olden -y times. When darkness spreads its wings before my master Zelatoth's greatest foe, the path to truth will be opened. Did I burn myself on the... I guess if you fuck the puzzle up, you get hurt a little bit. Um, no, so we, we've we seen this kind of um, imagery before, but this is just a hammer home. Now that you know more about what's going on, um, red magic will hurt green monsters more and they will also be resistant to blue magic so the the hierarchy of the gods the the the, the god triangle here as it were um you can take advantage of that uh when you enchant your weapons for instance um this puzzle is if nothing else to ensure that you are aware that the Red God, Chaturga, is who you want to be um, using to take down Zelototh. That's also why it is the last of the three God runes that you get, because they want to hold that off as long as possible, make you do a couple of levels where you're at a disadvantage. Red beats green, green bleed, 
beats blue, blue beats blue. Oh yeah, it is the poke. It is exactly the Pokemon triangle. Yeah, I never really thought of it that way. Huh. Ah, oh, that's an easy way to remember it. <laughs> Thank you for pointing that out, Hi Wang. So, Aaron decided that the best place to hide the book would be still on the, the grounds of the mansion. Oh, hey, things are happening. Yeah, stuff. Uh, turns out these guys, I looked them up, I was looking something up earlier, and it turns out these things are called hook horrors. Hook horrors. I... Oh, we want to probably... Equip a weapon. Aha! Kareem is not the only one who can dual wield. So, we don't have the Chaturga rune yet. We have the codex for it. So we can't... We can't, uh... Enchant the way we would like to at the moment. But we are going to go ahead and save because there's a big boy out there. Let's see. We got both guns. We got the book. We got the sword. We know what to do with this guy. This is what I get for trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. Ah, uh, okay. I will be so happy once I can heal. That'll be nice. You know what? I've already got the autopsy for that thing, and uh, I don't want to put myself in that position again, so let's just... Vamoose. Where'd my inventory go? This can't be happening! Ah, the insanity! Ah, ah, my, my ah, material ah. possessions! Yeah, Max Max goes more more Lovecraft protagonist than most. He's already like he's glimpsed the veil and now everything is just immediately horrible. This isn't really happening. 
It might be. You don't know, Max. So, this here is a chest in our time, or a, a dresser in our timeline that we can't access. Or in our um, present day, rather. anything? Uh, it speaks randomly at us in Latin. Jeez. Oh, he's so small. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God, he's so little. Oh, no. Oh. Just set us up for a back punch. What are my quick spells again? I already forgot. Heal sanity, heal magic, enchant. Okay. That's going to change up once we get the Chaturga rune, but for now... Yeah, yeah, upside down world. We've seen it. Well, I'm gonna just. Let's maybe just get our get our brain back in order. Oh, that's so much better. Can you hear that peaceful silence? That fucking peaceful. Ass silence. Servant walking up to us and trying to punch us in the back of the head. Stun lock the monsters. Well, the angles get more Dutch as you, um, as you get, as you get lunier. As you do, yeah. Um. Gotta love that good visual shorthand for thing not good. Shit. Oh. This is the hell room. This is the room of bad things. Uh, guns. Guns. Damn it. I'm a pre-American. I love my pre-guns. And... Yeah. Quick! <laughs> Don't... Fucking even dare. This is not that kind of a household where you can just start swinging despite what you seem to think. Oh, wow. I'm hurting. Oh, crap. Oh. She's just doing the windows. She just watched me murder one of her co-workers. <laughs> and is just straight back to windows. Santa, Santa. 
The last thing I need is to be insanity to death because some zombie looked at me funny. Hmm. Is there... I don't see anything on the left. Oh, hey, look at that. I don't see it. Oh, a shiny. Oh, I missed that. <laughs> okay. Well, that got us something. Oh, dear friend, as I suspected, the ruins of Engar that blasted Necropolis, the ru Okay, we got something below the house that we don't want to deal with. Accursed servants of Zelototh they are so close I can almost hear them chittering. Secret opening in the basement, and from there we can gain access. I urge you to gather some men and seal it, or better yet, destroy the damn place. I have stowed something that we will find useful on the upper level. Look to the light and you will find it. Look to the light. Because what I need is that red room. That's that's the key to all of my... All of my sepia tone dreams. There you are! Ah, we're gonna die real hard. Alright. Maybe I can wear him down a little bit. Damn. Just get me out of this room. Oh, now he reloads. Ah. Whoa. How did it, you know what, I'm not going to complain. Somehow our health came back. Somehow our health has gone up to full. Whatever. I'm not complaining. I'm going to chop. Ah! I don't... <laughs> I don't remember this happening in the game, that we get this kind of a break, but I'll take it. Shrug. That didn't count, did it? That was a sanity effect. That. That's why I could die and not have to worry we about have it. Rune. I don't think so. <laughs> Oh, we do! We, yeah. We have okay. To. Some confusions, but that's okay. Because now... Yeah, this part of the game doesn't make any fucking sense sometimes. That's fine. That's fine. See, unlike other other times, like when I'm playing something and it makes me feel like, you're just trying to make me think I'm going mad. But here, they that is the stated goal, so that's fine. It's fine. This is fine. We can heal now. I suspect I might have to fight that guy again. So, there's a sanity effect that will, like, put you into the room and show you what's in there. And, but it's, it's not real. Like, you being in there is not real. Um, and in this case, it looks like that happened in a room 
with a key item, the the Chaturga rune, and that was a kind of a weird pairing, but it seemed to work out in my favor, so I'm not going to complain. We did it! Yay! Oh, yeah. Also. Use the itty bitty basement key. Zombies. Zombies with fucking bone thieves. And then the letter said there was a, um, ooh, the codex. The letter said there was a secret passage down here. Well, fortunately, the pump handle is in our possession. We're just going to pump out this whole damn well, and not a single drop is going to come out the spigot. Ah, we have us an attack spell. Those are Those are hand that that one's handy if we need to um do some crowd control. I am wounded and I'm in a padded cell. This can't be happening. Yeah. The scientific mind that can find the the benefit of the curiosities even under such strenuous circumstances. Also, our basement's a lot bigger than we thought. Our basement's a lot bigger than we thought. That's fine. Max is incredulous at the site, a desolate ruin of a fantastic city built into a huge, naturally formed cave. Jutting spires and looming buildings poke through the dense fog. Light ebbs through the city, crackling in the wake of the energy spilling from a light source held aloft by unseen forces. I am not paying the property tax on all that. Not doing it. This is pre-representation, even. All taxation. So, the way we came, 
is not available. Can't get out with the field in place. And also, he gets to summon little helper friends. Helper friends that draw aggro and make it harder for me to get a shot. Oh. Man, these flintlocks are just not not doing me any good. Good. They're bad. <laughs> They're just bad. They're difficult the to aim. We're looking for uh, bad. Bad. Oh, okay, he's got the shield up. So. Ow. Actually, hold on. He's about to cast something, so. Okay, he's casting that shield. I don't have what I would normally use. Yeah, I don't have the dispel right now, so yeah, maybe this will do it. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I got a little greedy, but it's fine. Alright, I'm gonna get you. Come here. Solidify, damn you. people can't pay me rent money. Look, the CARES Act doesn't apply to double torsoed headless horrors from beyond the veil. That was but one. And it was an entire sea of them. I could not hope to fight them all alone. I knew I had to get help. I knew there was a way. I just had to find it. So three months of, of totally acceptable behaviors later. I tried. I tried to tell them. But they wouldn't listen to me. Damn them. Damn their eyes. They didn't believe me. Strange creatures. The world in terror from unseen foes. Instead, they jeered and threw me into this forsaken place. A place of empty souls and fevered thoughts, reeking of fetter and decay, thinking me mad with delirium. <laughs> Fools cast away their hopes of salvation by locking me in this damned asylum. May the rats eat your eyes! I am now lost to your cause! The darkness comes! It will damn us all! That is one of my very favorite cutscenes in the game. It just it just captures what what happens to you when you try to deal with this sort of thing so very well. And I'm pretty sure Max's um, little rant at the end there against the window was in every piece of marketing. Not that this game had much, but... Corpses, wandering, rotting cadavers. I 
What contrivance could have brought this, this, this abomination? Disease science, blasphemous occult rituals. How can something so, so dead yet be so alive and hungry? They lust for flesh, human flesh, and feast upon all the sweet bits a man has to offer. 